Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about the examples when we are asked to interpret the parameters of the linear function that models some kind of real world situation. In this case we have a situation where we're working with a checking account. Pablo is putting money into a checking account and let's y represents the total amount of money in the in the account in dollars. Then x represents the number of weeks Pablo has been adding money. So basically, it's x is time in weeks. Suppose x and y are related using this equation over here. y equals 350 plus 30x. Where again, x is time and y is money. <laughs> Sounds good. So we are asked, what is the change a? What is the change per week in the amount of money in the account? And for b question, what was the starting amount of money in the account? I would say this big question actually is the easiest one. The starting money happens when the time t was zero. In this case, t is in x. So x represents the number of weeks. So x is time, which is usually t to be honest, but it's fine. So basically they ask you what happens when there was zero weeks. So you, you just show up to the bank account and you're just signing the papers. That's super simple, you just plug in 0 into the equation. So 350 plus 30 times 0, that's 350. So this isolated number standing like so here, 350, that usually is the answer for the starting point. And so just uh, think about that, that's exactly what is happening here. But then if you see some kind of rate per so the keywords, I will tell you, look for the keywords, what is the rate or the keywords, something per, or maybe you see slash miles per hour, or they ask you change. That's where you usually look at the slope and the slope for B and for A, the slope Y equals 350 is not a slope. So 30 X plus 350. This is what the slope is and the slope represents change. In this case, so that's exactly my change. So this is what I'm gonna put in the blue box. That's what they are talking about. That's why if you see this keyword, what is the change? That's the keyword per is a keyword per week in the amount of money in the account. That's the change. So that's why the answer for A is 30. Change is my slope and it is 30. And you already might understand that if M, which is slope, which is change, is positive, then something is increasing. So the change is happening. The change is happening, but something is keep increasing. If M is negative, something is decreasing, and so on. So if that would be minus 30x, that means we're lo that means Pablo is losing money per week. That's kind of the idea, which you need to understand from those um, real life problems. And it doesn't really matter what they actually uh, hold behind the problem. Is it investing into your account or is it uh, something about the uh, how many how many cups we sold and how much money we got from that? Always look at the slope. The slope represents the change and then always look at the isolated number like 350. That one is the original number. Where, what, where did we start it with? What did we start and so on? Okay, hopefully you got to this point and now you'll be super fast with those questions. Read them through, see equation, answer A, B and move on. See you in my next video.